On Monday, the Army released a new set of grooming and appearance regulations with new rules on acceptable tattoos, hairstyles, and uniforms. But some are calling the new female hairstyle standards racially biased because they ban twists, dreadlocks, certain types of braids, and other traditionally natural black hairstyles. A WhiteHouse.gov petition calling on the Army to reconsider the rules has already received over 7,000 signatures. What is the problem with your hair? I'm looking at you and I don't see a problem with it from where I'm sitting. Um, that's a good question. And that's kind of what my petition asked is for them to reconsider the changes and um, kind of give us some feedback to figure out what kind of like compromise we can reach because um, in my opinion and others as well, my hair currently is neat. It's professional. Um, it doesn't um, interfere with headgear. It doesn't touch my eyebrows, which are the different regulations um, in the previous um, policy. So that's a great question that I'd love an answer to. What exactly is wrong with my hair in its current state? When you're deployed um, overseas or where, wherever the army send you, um, Black females um, have to go through extra steps just to make sure that they can, you know, find ways to um, take care of their hair to stay within regulation, to spend up to 12, hour, 12 hours plus in, you know, one salon on top of having to complete the mission, which could be an ex in a shift that would be 12 hours or more. Um, you know, you don't have time to take care of the necessary things and focus on the necessary things that you should be focused on, such as, you know, physical education, getting enough sleep um, and, you know, completing the mission, you know, first. So um, to focus on the hair, it just it takes away and it distracts you from completing your mission. Um, the decision, I, I pretty much I was fed up with uh, chemically relaxing my hair. So that was the reason why I made the decision to switch as well. And uh, while I was actually in Iraq, I um, experienced hair loss where um, up to half an inch of um, my hairline had actually uh, come out. So it took me approximately three years to actually grow my hair back. So because of this, I just decided that the best thing for me would to be just to go natural and just to let my hair uh, take its natural course. And I figured that the dreadlocks would be the easiest and the simple way to allow my hair to just naturally grow. And I would stay within regulation. You literally are putting your life on the line and to have something like your hairstyle be told that it's deemed unprofessional and not appropriate for the military. What does that say to you about the sacrifices that you've made? It's heartbreaking and more than anything. Um, it's almost like, um, you know, one day you're good enough to fight for this country and the next day, um, because of the way your hair grow out of your scalp, you're not and we no longer need you. So um, with these decisions being made, I think that um, the military really owe it to the veterans and the current service members to provide more information on why these decisions were made and to actually look into coming up with a better solution. Um, as far as our hair is concerned, by seeking medical professional um, opinions.